Rest up as we pray and prepare ourselves for the Bible study tonight. Everybody standing up, thank you very much. God bless you. You close your eyes and then you begin to pray that the Lord will bless us and enrich our lives at the Bible study tonight. That the things we hear will challenge us, inspire us, excite us, and move us on to what we ought to do. Pray that the Lord will help you to be a real child of God with your heart and mind and soul giving to the Lord and then with real joy, delight, excitement you will do what the Lord is calling us to do you know we have a special program before us I'm sure you've been praying about it. Our national and international December retreat starting on the 24th of December all through to the 27th of December. Pray that as the Lord prepares us to publish it, to tell of the good news to everyone that the Lord will help you to be an integral and important part of the people of God that will take this word to people around you, around us. Keep those dates in mind while you pray, while you prepare, while you publicize, you also want to participate. And you pray that this December 24th to the 27th, your participation will actually spiritually endure you with power from on high. The riches of Christ and the great inheritance of the saints will be yours. You'll be there prepared. Your family will be there prepared. Your friends and invitees will be there prepared with them. From every school in the community, from every campus, in every city, from every locality and every community, let's pray that God will help us to touch the lives of people, excite them, invite them, make them feel how important this special December retreat, 24 to 27, are important significant it will be in the life of everyone high and lowly everyone men and women the young and the old let's pray that God will prepare us for the great outpouring of his blessing of his power in the children camp in the youth camp and then in the adult camp as you pray you are getting ready that God himself will open the heavens shower his blessings upon his own people, you included. Going to be a period patch of great, great blessing from on high. On our church leadership, on our workers, on our members, on our families, on everyone. 
pray that God will give us the strength to carry through and I will give you the faith to receive great things ahead of you get ready pray that God himself will turn you another man another woman that this December retreat will make somebody spiritual out of you that the lack and the need the limitations and the loss of the past will be blotted out by the overwhelming overflowing blessings of God you're going to receive in those wonderful days 24th to the 27th pray that all that God plans purposes desires to pour upon his people nothing will hinder any of us any of our leaders from getting the very best these great great programs ahead of us in this coming retreat let's pray for all our overseers national overseers the state overseers the regional overseers that God will pour out His Spirit, the Spirit of understanding, the Spirit of knowledge, the Spirit of wisdom, the Spirit of the fear of God, the Spirit of power, the Spirit of Christ, unction from above upon all our leaders, our leaders at the headquarters church here as well as our leaders, pastors, overseers in every region, every state and every nation in Africa and beyond Africa this is worldwide that God himself will give us a great breakthrough that as we stand to minister together in unity of faith our people will receive also the fullness in that same unity of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. And the headquarters church says, Amen. Heavenly Father, we do thank you tonight. It's always a joy and we're always excited to be together. What a fellowship we have and what blessings we have when we gather together having the same heart and the same mind, the same goal and want to receive from you tonight. We come together once again and we pray that your spirit will teach us tonight very clearly, convincingly in Jesus' name. And the desire to do and the desire to observe, the desire to practice exactly what you are telling us and teaching us from on high, you grant unto us in Jesus' name. Lord, tonight I say, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the sick say, I am well. Let those who are shy, those who are timid, let them say, I am bold in the Lord. Oh, I pray that courage, conviction, and boldness will come to everyone in Jesus' name. As the people of the world announce what they have, and they stand up in the board, they talk in the taxi, and they speak in the market, and speak everywhere, and they speak over the radio, over the television, and also publicize the little things they have in the papers. We have the greatest thing on earth. We have something that will take man from earth to heaven. Lord, we pray that the boldness, the zeal, the excitement, the courage, the excitement, and the power to declare what we have and to invite people to this coming retreat, you give to everyone in Jesus' name. Give our children the boldness and the courage. 
our brothers and sisters the boldness and the courage our students on campuses the boldness the courage our children and students in secondary school the boldness and the courage our workers and pastors the boldness and the courage our members and everybody that hears the boldness and the courage so that lord will publicize the sin will we'll blaze it abroad will tell everyone and lord every retreat location shall be full to overflowing and from that first night lord we just pray showers of blessing showers of blessing as people are stepping on that retreat ground even before we pray over there healing will be taking place miracles will be taking place supernatural abundance will flow into our lives in jesus name over there lord we pray the sinners will be saved believers will be sanctified the power of god from on high will come upon everybody in jesus name and lord as we go and publicize every need of our lives you meet those needs there will be no lack in our midst again there will be no limitation in our lives again we pray that heaven will fill our soul our mind our heart our families our church in jesus name tonight you have promised to speak to us lord speak for thy children are hearing and let what we hear energize and power equip every one of us thank you lord because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray amen god bless you you can sit down tonight you have the outline in your hand already we have a special special study everybody say special study and we're talking about the december retreat and we're teaching from scriptures concerning this december retreat i told you already during the time of prayer that the december retreat will be from the 24th of december until the 27th of december just this month something is coming your way is going to be great we have two great things ahead of us and god is telling us if you have not seen any blessing you are going to be overloaded with blessing this december retreat is yours and is mine and thank god i will be there my family will be there anyone i know anyone i can touch i'm going to influence anyone i can influence they will be there and you will be there and god is going to do great great things in our lives in jesus name what are we talking about today we're talking about preparation for a great harvest of blessings preparation for a great harvest of blessing we always have to prepare when god says i want to do this and i want to over i want to shower my blessings upon my people the people of god they have to be ready and we have to prepare preparation for a great harvest of blessing we're looking at isaiah chapter 40. isaiah chapter 40 we're looking at verse 3. the voice of him that cries in the wilderness prepare ye the way of the Lord makes straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted. Already you can see what the prophet is saying. The prophet knew that the a new thing was coming. Actually, as you look at Isaiah, Isaiah was a special prophet. And you see, this is Isaiah chapter 40. Before chapter 40, you have chapter, tell me out loud, 39. Chapter 1 to chapter 39 is like the old covenant. It's like the old testament. And it's like the old thing that had happened to the children of Israel. When you come to chapter 40, that's the beginning of the new thing the Lord wants to do. As you come to this December retreat, it's the end of a year that opens up the beginning of another year and it says you should prepare because the new year will be different the sorrows of the past year everything will go 
and the heartaches and the and the sickness of the past years everything will vanish away and then as you open the new page chapter 40 then the prophet tells us he says this is going to be a new era a new dispensation and he says we have to prepare prepare the way of the lord and then he tells us after we have that preparation look at what will happen number one every valley shall be exalted valley is what is down there down below and it says it's, it will be exalted if you are being in the valley you are going to have exaltation number two every mountain and hill shall be made low that is when you come to this new era new dispensation new period a new time it says the mountains and the hills that hindered you because they were high and you couldn't climb over them they will be made low and then number three the crooked shall be made straight anything crooked in your life in your business in your family in your work everything will be straightened out then number four and the raw places it says shall be made plain Thank God when we finish and we get through that retreat, everything that has been rough and every life has been rough and tough. But thank God, retreat time is coming. I said retreat time is coming. And all those rough places shall be made plain. And then number five, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. It will be revealed in your life. And then it says, and all flesh shall see together. Number seven, all flesh shall see together. And for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. If I were you, I will start preparing because something great is going to happen. Actually, as we talk about the gathering together of the people of God, from time immemorial, that is from the time of old, God has desired that his own people will gather together so he can bless them. Let me tell you a secret. There are some things you'll never get in isolation. There are some blessings you'll never receive all alone by yourself. I don't care how studious you are, how spiritual you are, how serious you are. If you stay alone all by yourself, there are some things you'll never taste, you'll never know. But it's when you gather together with the people of God and you gather together with the people who pray. And the people who love the Lord, you gather together with them a lot of things that you couldn't get by yourself. Those things will begin to happen to you. Let me show you in Genesis chapter 49. Genesis chapter 49 verse 10. Genesis 49 verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a Lord giver from between his feet. Unto, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. You see that? That is prophecy. You know this December retreat is a fulfillment of prophecy. Because it says, unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Anybody that stays behind, anybody that will not gather together with the people of God, when the overflowing blessings of God are coming from heaven, he doesn't want to be a part of the fulfillment of this great prophecy. I'm going to be a part of that fulfillment. Unto him shall the gathering of the people be. It's not only a prophecy, it's a commandment. Look at Psalm 50. I'm looking at Psalm 50 and we're looking at verse 5. Psalm 50 verse 5. In Psalm 50 verse 5 it says, gather my saints together unto me. Gather my saints together unto me. That's a commandment. It was a prophecy. Unto him shall the gathering of the people be. And then God said for that to happen. You, the minister, you, the child of God, you, the overseer, you, the pastor, and you, the workers, he gives you the commandment, and you, the member of the body of Christ, he gives us the commandment, gather my people together unto me. It says, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. You know what that means? What that means is this. There are people who have given their lives to the Lord. They have made a covenant with the Lord by sacrifice. They have paid the price of consecration. And they are, they are, they are expecting the blessing.
blessings of consecration to come upon them and god says i'm not going to give you the blessing in isolation when you're all alone by yourself a lot of things you have been praying for and desiring it is when we gather together together that's why god will pour out all those blessings that's why he said gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice and then in Sephaniah chapter 3 Sephaniah let's get into almost the end of the Old Testament Sephaniah chapter 3 we're looking at verse 19 behold at that time I will undo all that afflict thee give me a good amen and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out I will gather her that was driven out you see what the Lord is now saying number one I told you a prophecy number two a commandment number three now this is a promise I will gather I will gather him that was driven out how many people have been driven out of their places of work how many people have been driven out places where they live how many houses or buildings have been demolished and they want to drive them out of their community how many people have been driven out of the joy and the happiness and the goodness of the lord and the lord is saying when you gather together when you fulfill the prophecy and when you obey the commandment to gather my saints together and then myself i will gather her that was driven out i will get them praise and fame in every every land in every land that means the retreat location is not just one location it's going there's going to be a retreat location at the headquarters here and then in all the various regions and then in all the various states and then in all the various nations in africa as well as beyond africa and the lord already said that in every land where they were where they have been put to shame he said he will wipe our shame away as we gather together, then he says, all the shame we had before, everything will vanish away at that 